this nation will heal its wounds. I have faith that both sides will come to view each other as sons of the same country once more. Let us Would you quit wasting film? Save some for Lincoln. Well, what else am I supposed to do? He's been going on for two hours now. Thank you, Dr. Everett. And now I have the privilege of introducing a man familiar to us all. Hurry up. Lincoln's next. I got plenty of time. These politicians are the greatest windbags known to men. The 16th President of the United States. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now, we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate. We cannot consecrate. We cannot hallow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here have consecrated it, far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. 